So I'm in Manchester. I'm about to meet a vegan YouTuber who is visiting the UK. Um, but you can't guess who it is. But I'll give you a clue. She might not have any clothes on, but I hope she has. Or do I? <laughs> Later. Is there a crazy Australian round here? Hello. <laughs> Were you getting worried? No, I was just like, okay. Look who it is! Hi, who's that? Is that a video? It's, it's just a video. It's oh, just, cool. yeah. Oh, yeah. We finally meet. She's too. here. She's here. Yeah, I'm your visual. I got Emily. <laughs> She's on my eyes. I know, in the flesh. <laughs> Okay, now it's no, now it's recording. Now it's recording. Yes. <laughs> so we are outside the allotment. That's the allotment. I don't know whether you can see that. The allotment. You can okay. just get a photo of that, and then you edit it in the corner of the. Are you screen. telling me how to do my videos, even though you've got like no, thousands more exactly, followers than me? Exactly. Exactly. Because I know better. Trust me. It'll be a lot more refined if you just edit the, a photo of what it is in there instead of putting it up God, to the screen. God damn you. You're, you're in the presence of a master YouTuber who edits, who used to edit her own videos for a long time. When was the last time you posted? Um, before I left, I had editing issues, like is in my editor, but I've got my old editor back and. Um, so she's gonna edit this video, but then after that, like I'm gonna edit because I have my second YouTube channel, and I'm gonna. I'm just decided that I'm gonna edit my own stuff. Thank you, so folks. Right, news. Um, yeah. So I was actually diagnosed with ADHD last Tuesday. Um, I've also been doing some undercover work that I can't talk about again. Um, so this is why I haven't posted for weeks and weeks and weeks. So I hope all of you who are out there now. I haven't deserted me, I'm back and I'm going to start getting more content up there but this is the first one in a while and it's uh, with Emily. Yes, slightly crazy vegan and I also have ADHD but diagnosed a long time ago. <laughs> We're so lucky, so lucky but it is it is different for females and males. Isn't yes, it, it is. Because the, the, yeah. you, you sort of like talk on and on and on and, and mm. don't lose track. Uh -huh. Whereas I sort of talk and then just completely lose track of where I'm up to because I get distracted by just everything going on. I get distracted it. when other people are talking. Oh, I can't stand that. <laughs> I hate that when I, I, I can't listen to, if you're talking and someone's yeah. talking there and I can hear the conversation, yeah. I'll, I hear both. And I, I hate I, when I, people, I both they and turn the TV on. on. And then you're like, why are you trying to talk to me with the TV on? Like, why is the TV on? Yeah, yeah. It's just going to distract me. And I'm like, now I just have to struggle to hear you. And what's the point of the TV? No one's watching it. Mm. Like, if someone's watching it, I'm like, oh, okay, it makes sense. And, and, and so I struggle. But it's like, why am I struggling to hear you when the TV doesn't need to be on? It's so annoying. Well, yeah, I can, I can have the TV on mm -hmm. and have a conversation with someone. Yeah. But I can't watch TV while someone's talking. Because I, even if they have the phones on really, really quiet, I can't concentrate on the TV because I can hear this. It's really strange. It's a strange fucking condition, really. Is. Yeah, I remember when um, when I was when I tried like when I was 18, so a long time ago, when I tried a drug, and it was like ecstasy or something. And I remember that I was like so focused. I was like chatting to this person, and then I forgot. And then I realised where I was, and all the noise came in. At the same time, I went, oh, and I started hearing the noise around, but like I could zoom in to just like zoom in, not with my eyes, but with my ears. Yeah, just, and just zoom hear in him. into the conversation. Apparently, yeah. that's, oh, obviously that was a super zoom, but apparently that's like what regular people can mostly do, mm. <clears throat> but we can't. We just hear everything. Everything. It's terrible. But yeah. anyway, so why are you here in Manchester? Annoying me. Um, so I wanted to like see a friend because um, I, I'm with my friend in London for like almost three weeks. So it's a long time. So I'm just giving her a break. 
um, and going somewhere else. She was thinking I could go to Scotland and I'm like, oh, I just don't want to do another country. Like I've been to Croatia, Italy, um, France, Spain, Morocco, back to Spain, um, but a different, like on the other side, um, uh, Portugal, England, and um, then we went to France, uh, so uh, back to France, like, well, except this time on the other side, so Paris, and then um, back London. to England. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back wow. to England, yes. So how many, how many weeks is that? I've been like almost two months. Wow. Uh, yeah, I've been going a long time. Wow. A long time. That's so cool, I'd love to do that. Oh, I'd it's exhausting. It. Like, yeah, I, I bet it is, but... But you know what, it's just because when I was younger, I could never afford to go. Mm. So a lot of people, when they were in their 20s, they mm. did it. So I'm just doing it now. And obviously I told you that I want to have children. And I'm like, well, I may as well just do it all now. Because when mm. I have kids, like, I don't really care to travel. I'd rather have kids, but... Um, you will travel, you will travel when you have kids. There's nothing better than, than finding a really good hotel like in Spain yeah. somewhere. That's yeah. a really good kids club and like the kids disappear all day. It's nice, but yeah. like it's very expensive for Australians like mm. to come to Europe because it's, oh, yeah. it takes a whole day. Yeah. It takes oh, like yeah, no. a whole day. Yeah, yeah. And so it's very expensive. Yeah. Um, obviously like if you were to go from here to Spain, that's like, like it, yeah, that's very cheap. Whereas us, it's like thousands of dollars yeah, each. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we normally travel like when we have kids, we normally travel around Australia. Yeah. But it's fine. I'm happy with that. Mm. Fiji was nice and that wasn't too expensive. So like I feel like a lot of families, um, Australian families go to Fiji and like Bali, but I wouldn't really recommend Bali with children. Like Fiji is much nicer. Yeah, yeah. So what do you reckon with beard or without beard? Oh beard is and without beard is good. So both. Yeah, I don't That's know. not a good answer. I can't remember. That's a fence answer. I can't remember what you look like without it. Less handsome, I reckon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but like I've my hair's grown. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you whether your hair's grown or not. Exactly. Really. See, and so. I've lost a bit of weight. So you definitely tell you've lost weight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. have you, why have you lost weight? Just by travelling and being sick. Um, yeah, so um, obviously some places there wasn't good vegan options, so I just didn't really eat much, which was fine. Like Cuba. <clears throat> and other places I didn't um, eat, like I just saved money by like eating, like I didn't want to go, if I was on my own, I didn't want to go to a non-vegan restaurant and just sit there on my own. So I was like, well, I may as well just like, I just bought some bread and some peanut butter and I just like had some bread and peanut That's butter. That's what I took to Cuba with me, peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up giving it to some kids. And what else did I take? I took uh, chili sauce. Oh yeah. And I took, um, I had to get this right. I went to Cuba, right, with a, a cellophane bag full of white powder and a cellophane bag full of brown powder. Uh-huh. One was protein powder and one was milk vegan milk powder oh, for my coffee oh. but fancy taking those you know yeah, what I mean it's no, like, like what the fuck is that what's he got what's he got <laughs> but, but I never got checked oh wow never ever got checked <clears throat> right yeah but you obviously kept it in your bag because yeah, they can tell if it's drugs yeah of course can yeah. yeah so they would have been like so they would have tried that vegan milk powder and gone Oh, wow, this is strong shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this cocaine tastes sweet. Um, but yeah, like, um, so yeah, I got sick in Morocco. And, I've been to Morocco. Um, and so, yeah, so I was, because we were doing like so much walking, like 20,000, like in Italy, I was doing like 20,000 steps easy a day. And, um, and. Uh, oh, you want tissue, don't you? Oh yeah, here. maybe when he comes. Well, listen. I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's order. just let's just yeah pause How the video order? and order. They'll come out to us. So this is the worst thing about having two vloggers. <laughs> <laughs> two vloggers at a restaurant. We text us hours to eat our food, but look at that. That's yeah, Manzana. He is. So this is a starter. Hello there. Hello. I'm loving my We're food. We're filming our videos as and these, we do. <laughs> and these, these are satay skewers. Oh, it looks Enjoy, good. Emily. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay. So yes. Um. So the vlog that I'm making is going to be a vegan um, nudist travel um, vlog. Um, and I went on a nude cruise in Croatia, and then I also went to a nude city in France, which is called Cap Dag. So how big is the city? When you talk, say city. Um, 
Manchester's a city, surely, can't they? Oh, it's not that big. It's only a small city. Um, it's near the beach. Like, it's on the beach. So, you obviously, it's got nude beaches. And, um, yeah, um, you've got nude beaches. And then uh, you go there. Um, I stayed in the family area. Um, because there also is swinging there. But I obviously I love stayed... swings. They're great, but they make me sick after a while. Yeah, this is more like adult swinging. What, you mean big swings? Yeah, like uh, sex swing, like sex, having sex. That's and swings. <laughs> you actually can, but no. No, there's like swinging as in like you have sex with a group of people and stuff. But I didn't do any of that. Um, I just step, stick to the nudist um, zones. I like the sound of a sex swing. I um yeah there was a there was sex clubs and stuff there. Mm. Wow. So the cruise was everybody was naked on the cruise even mm -hmm. the, even the crew. No, the crew weren't naked, but everybody all the guests were nude. Mm -hmm. Except when we were at port. When we were at port. You had to dress when you were port. Yes, we had to. Be dressed because um, other boats were like next to us. It was more like when we were just out at sea. Okay. Yeah. So, so this city, this new city, mm -hmm. everybody just walks around naked and just shopping in the shops. Oh well, yeah, you have shops and you have beaches, you have bars, you have pools, you have bar pools. Mm. So. If we can get a nudist city, why can't we get a vegan city? Oh. Why can't we do that? Why, why is it so not? Hard? We need to have a vegan city. I think there's. I think that. Um, yeah, we need to have a, a vegan city. We need to start it somewhere. So tomorrow, Emily, mm -hmm. I'm taking you to a pig vigil. Mm -hmm. We managed to pig Oh, okay, yeah. How do you feel about that? Have you been to one before? I've been to a vigil, yes. How did you find? What kind of vigil was the other one? Um, it was um, I think it was chickens. Mm. It's okay. We did it at night time. So this one mm. tomorrow, it's um, it's pigs, and the wagon stop, and you get to like interact with the pigs. Mm. Okay. But it's really sad. It's really mm. sad. And then we can go around the back um, and listen <coughs> to them, uh, yeah. which isn't nice. Yeah, I've heard that. I've done that. Like I was at this place, not for vegan reasons, for work, and you could hear them, mm. and that was for construction. Yeah, not good. Mm. But I'm going to do a TikTok live. I think that's another thing I've been doing mm -hmm. is doing TikTok lives and doing my concentration on my TikTok um, because TikTok you get to a lot of non-vegans. It's a mm. really good platform. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that's another reason for my inactivity on YouTube. I'm coming out with some great excuses. You were hungry, <laughs> weren't you? Mm-hmm. It's been a long time since I've yes. had fish and chips, yeah. And you got, what did you get? Tom Yum. Tom Yum, it's like a soup. It's like a soup with noodles and mushrooms Ooh. and all sorts in there. Nice. So what have you got, um? I have a, I have a sticky date pudding. Yeah, I'll sticky film it. <laughs> Sticky toffee pudding and what's on it? Is that ice cream? It's ice cream, vegan oh, ice cream. And, I've and got you have ice cream. Uh, <laughs> it's like a coffee, right? Yeah, it's coffee. It's espresso and ice cream. Ice cream. So I get a kick and the cream as well. Yes, yeah. so I don't know whether I put the coffee on the on the ice cream or put the ice cream in the coffee. I'm gonna put the oh, coffee, no, put the coffee on, the on the ice cream. cream. Yes. Yeah, it's bigger, I'm gonna make bigger, a whole lot. So have you enjoyed? Hang on, I need to focus <laughs> on you now. 
Yeah. Oh, there we go. We got a face, Doug. Yeah. So, have you enjoyed your? Oh, yummy! So good. Your meal here at the. Oh Island. yeah, it's really good. I've liked it. Um, fish, I haven't. I don't really like fish that much, but I just thought I'd try it because I've never had mock fish before. Actually, I think I might have had a little bit of mock fish, but. Yeah, and now I'm having sticky day pudding, which is my absolute fate, one of my absolute favorite desserts. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we like it. We like it. We like it a lot. So, yeah, if you're in Manchester, come here to the allotment. It is, we've walked in, we've got a table, we've done a walk in. Um, but if you come in a weekend, mm. but, but the food is delicious, it's great service, it's reasonably priced. And uh, yeah, as you can see from the ums and the ahs, that this lady here <laughs> has totally enjoyed her time. Um, the company's been brilliant, of course. The company's been astounding, I'd say. So yeah, visit the allotment. <laughs> so later. Mm. Um, um, the third Bishop of Manchester had previously been Bishop of Melbourne, so when he came and this was built, they put two um, kangaroo on it for Oh, nice. That's what the story says, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah. That's true. Oh. Our last curate, a few months ago, he went to Perth. Obviously, he couldn't get far enough away from us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was something we'd said, I don't know. Really. It said Burgess Cathedral in Perth. So, yeah, if you ever find yourself on that side of Australia, <laughs> <laughs> just, just say hi to him. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Baby sent me that video. <laughs> oh, it's really nice. I told you, we're great up in the north. That's what we like up here. We're accommodating. We, we, we're not like London. You've been spoiled by no, London. No, London. London's no, London. tainted you. No, I went to London and I was in the castle and I said, oh, I need to go to the toilet. I've had food poisoning. And they were like really, really nice and like telling, and they, they helped me, the staff helped me get to the toilet and on two different places and two different occasions and stuff. They really went, like in the cathedrals, they really went out of their way to like get me to the bathroom. Do you reckon that's because they didn't want you to poo in the cathedral? <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> They're like, yeah, just like go. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, what a Get wonderful out. place. This is the first time I've ever been in here, you know. Oh. I've lived here all this time is and it's for some... Of course it's baby Jesus. I like looking at babies. Oh, you're getting broody. Getting broody? She's getting broody. She's broody, getting yeah. broody. Yeah, yeah, we call it clacking. Um, we're walking down through the gay village now. Do you think you might be gay? I'm bisexual. Oh, right. I'm, I'm one sexual. One sexual? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm married. I'm non sexual now. Non sexual. I'm non sexual. Non sexual. <laughs> thought this Aussie chick would be here in yeah. in sunny Ashton yeah, no, with the activists here 